Twitter and Nielsen are working together to create a new type of TV rating. We'll explain what that is and more right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. With the Twitter story, we've got the Wall Street Journal's John Letzing joining us now from San Francisco. Uh, John, thanks for being there. It's been a while since we've had you on the show. Yeah, it has. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's always good when you're back. Tell us about Twitter and Nielsen. Nielsen known for their TV ratings. Twitter, of course, a microblogging service. Why mm -hmm. a new TV type rating? Yeah, this is, um, this is basically supposed to be complementary to what Nielsen already does in terms of measuring a total audience. Uh, this is basically designed to use all of those tweets that come flowing in, especially during a special event on TV, and sort of give advertisers and broadcasters uh, a little bit more insight into what, who is actually reading tweets. Uh, so the idea is, is to go beyond simply showing us you know, how many times something has been mm. tweeted, which is something we've seen a lot of. So, so very recently, we had the Hurricane Sandy Benefit concert on 12-12, on December the 12th here, and, and that was hugely mm -hmm. tweeted and hugely watched, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, absolutely. So that's exactly the kind of, of event they have in mind here in this, uh, uh, and sort of capitalizing on this uh, you know, second screen phenomenon. So people uh, like you and me sitting here watching uh, the two, but with a, a phone or a tablet in hand and, and tweeting at the same time. So the idea is you basically figure out what people are saying and who's reading it about what's going on, and that gives advertisers a better idea of how to, uh, how to capitalize on these things. And now the, the other thing um, that we, we know that was very hugely tweeted was, was the election coverage as well. Now, in all of this, when I, just uh, not everybody tweets, not every demographic tweets, do they? So isn't that make mm -hmm. it sort of slightly skewed towards tweeters? Yeah, it could, but I think, uh, this is just a guess, but I think if you were to look at the demographic that does tweet a lot, it would probably line up pretty well with the demographic that advertisers want to target, um, 18 to 35, that sort of thing. Um, so the idea here is really Twitter sort of stepping in and taking a more active role uh, with Nielsen in sort of... Uh, monetizing uh, uh, measurement of, of what people are actually doing on the service. Mm. Now, what, one of the things on, on the measurement stuff is that, that it's, it's always, um, t t well, it's not always, but it's typically been on the TV side, something called the sweeps, where, you know, where we, they look at the ratings only at certain periods, and that sets the agenda. Is that going to work the same way with this Twitter, um, t Twitterverse, or the, the Twitter-type um, ratings, or is it going to be different, or is that not known yet? I don't think that's absolutely clear yet. This is supposed to get underway in the TV season next year, next mm. fall. Um, and I'm sure a lot more details will come out before then. But I, I would have to guess that given that the Twitter thing is probably more centered around uh, particular special events like those that you've mentioned, uh, benefits and things like that, maybe, maybe it will be a little bit more dispersed in, in terms of a, of a focus like that, a sweeps type focus. Now, d d Twitter has been uh, obviously done phen phenomenally well. Um, is this part of its aggressive plans to sort of like try and keep it, its, um, its service attracting users and hopefully make it fully monetizable, i.e. like get lots of revenues coming in? Yeah, attracting users hasn't really been a problem. I think it's over 140 million actives now, sending like a couple billion tweets every couple of days or something. It's ridiculous uh, and growing all the time. The real issue is the other side of the equation you mentioned, actually making money from that. And I think that's especially important now that we've seen Twitter uh, peers like Facebook go public with a business model that turns out investors aren't entirely uh, crazy about, maybe a little bit incomplete in their eyes. So this is one more way that Twitter is saying, you know, look, we have all this incredible usage and we are actually making money off of it. Now, would you see the, the chances of, of Twitter actually getting taken over by a TV company just because of the synergies there between the, the data that can be provide, or gathered from all those tweets coming in during those shows? Yeah, that's an interesting uh, idea. The, the only issue, I guess, would be that in theory with, with partnerships like this, Twitter wants to be selling to as many TV companies and types of, of ad buyers and ad companies as it can, and, and being owned by one particular media outfit might complicate things a bit in terms of that. Mm. Now, um, based on when you talk to investors, you said that um, some, some investors are getting uh, worried about social media being able to get the revenue in the, uh, with the users, obviously got the users. Um, where does Twitter stack up in, in that 
in that situation versus, say, Zynga versus um, f Facebook? I mean, are they, are they seen as best, best of class or in the middle or just an also ran? Um, it's a little... Uh it's a little unclear at this point. Obviously, they're still private, um, still at a relatively early stage, even though it seems like it's been around forever. Um, one particularly bright spot, though, according to estimates, in terms of mobile ad revenue, mobile being so important lately especially, uh, Twitter is projected to grow at a, at a very rapid clip over the next few years and be comparable to something like a, like a Facebook, for example. Okay, well, obviously, uh, we, we shall see in short order. Thank you very much, John Lexing uh, of uh, Dow Jones Newswise. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, and you can read more on that on WSJ.com.